The precariat is looking at the idea of insecurity and precarity within the social realm. It's this idea of this new emerging class, social class, and um, it's associated with um, rising levels of insecurity, the burden going from the state back onto the individual, and um, how that plays out in the social and political realm. And the piece that you will first encounter when you come into the building, um, it's at the top of the stairs. It's called The Politicians. Emanating out of the, the embroidery frame are these kind of almost pseudo-religious beams. And they do reference, I thought a lot about Bernini's The Ecstasy of St. Teresa in making that piece. You know, there's religious beams that come up and out of her. That one in particular, I really wanted to take on Caravaggio, specifically take on Caravaggio. And so you'll see the actors in that frame are gesturing sideways and forwards and they're trying to push out into the foreground. It's that notion as well of trying to contain or hold on to something, frantically trying to hold on to the political enterprise. So that piece is wonderfully absurd and I really wanted to make a piece of sculpture that flouted all those conventions as well, that is drawing, sculpture, painting. It's two-dimensional, it's three-dimensional. It's all of those things going forward. I've always been really obsessed with the classical realm always trying to make work that relates to the classical or looks like has classical illusions. The whole preoccupation with the classical is with the notion of the ideal and form, but then if I placed a bruise or a wound on the surface of the skin, that kind of disruption would be really interesting. It would create this kind of representational instability in the form. So that started this series of busts, several white western faces with bruises or wounds on the faces and I started to create a series of African-American faces because I really wanted to expand the canon in terms of the, the, that representation that it was including. A lot of the work really deals with the Baroque period. It really relates emotion. It's not that classical form where everything is just static. And a lot of the sculptures you see here, they try and relate emotion, but I also really think about the relationship between art and architecture and between light and the piece of art. There's a lot of layers within the work. My, the embroidery work I have in the exhibition, I have um, two pieces. So how it came about that work is that I stumbled across images online of politicians fighting in Parliament. They're actual documentary images. And the first thing that struck me, it, it looked really like um, a contemporary version of a Caravaggio painting. It really played with that, you know, gesture and form and lighting, the chiaroscuro lighting. I had to find the image online, it had to be an actual image. And then I took an image from each country and I would embroider that image. I invested Embroidery Freeze the Politicians with kind of like a medieval Baroque palette. Again, just trying to bring the work back into the classical realm. The work is two-dimensional in form. You'll, there are panels that are attached to the wall, but also there's these threads that fall out of the interior frame and down onto the floor. And I was really intrigued. Sometimes the work looks like drawing, sometimes it looks like painting. Hugely influenced by art historical references as well. I was looking at the Bayou Tapestry and, and contemporary references like Grace and Perry, the obvious ones, and um, obviously Caravaggio. So the work really vibrates across a lot of planes. So during my residency at the British School, I spent a lot of time in various different museums. And one of them on the fourth floor of Palazzo Massimo is this room and it's uh, a fresco called Livia's Garden full, 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 packed full of colour. It's really compelling. The fresco itself is about nature in its most ideal form. So everything is, a, is in bloom. There's lots of fruit and flowers and birds. And I wanted to uh, reappropriate, you know, that, that fresco technique. What I did was I created a contemporary version of Livia's garden. What I wanted to do was really create a framework for the sculpture. I wanted to kind of play with the notion, the idea of the political sphere breaking down, unraveling. So this, this drawing, I call it a drawing, it's like a, a dilapidation of the original. The first thing you'll notice is that it's stripped of color. I pulled all color out of it. And so all of the fruit and the birds and all the plant life is oozing and weeping in, in my version. It's almost, you know, I think about it like an almost like a pus coming out of the frame, out of the drawing contemporary reflection of the political sphere at present. So it's kind of just asking some questions in relation to that, um, the success or failure of the political realm.